comment on whatever you know about reflection of light or refraction of light your choice to begin with reflection of light what is meant by reflection of light or what is meant by refraction of light okay i have lots of comments now here i give you space to write first then i'll pick up bouncing back of light is reflection written by many when a ray of light approaches a smooth polished surface light ray bounces back it is called reflection of light this is by garima reflection of light is the bouncing back of light ray in the same medium is sumiran akrit says bouncing back of light from a polished surface jatin says it's bouncing back of light okay now go ahead write about refraction of light what do you know about refraction of light refraction phenomena where a light ray bends at a certain angle when passing through a medium is jatin okay the bending of light when it enters obliquely is garima right then we have ananya writing when a ray of light goes from one medium to another it deviates from its path is akriti writing okay Harshit is saying change in the direction going from one medium to another. Bhavya is saying when a light ray approaches a smooth or polished surface, the ray bounces back is called reflection of light. Okay. Thank you, people. Thank you for this update on Padlet. Now, coming on to the live whiteboard. This is total internal reflection. after our original recap we are now setting our foot forth to understand what is total internal reflection which is our topic for the day before i begin with total internal reflection quick two questions to all of you imagine this is an interface of separation of two media 1 and 2 where air refers to the medium 1 and glass refers to the medium 2 if i draw a normal at the interface then if i choose any ray of light which is striking the interface at any angle of incidence i can anyone unmute and discuss what will be the fate of this ray once it strikes the interface it is going from air to glass and the light ray will bend towards the normal very good since it is going from air that is a rarer medium to a denser medium namely glass therefore we say it will bend towards the normal so this will be the refracted ray this will be the angle of refraction on the contrary the second question to you here again this is an interface of separation of two media 1 and 2 wherein the first medium now happens the second medium happens to be air i again draw a normal at the interface and i again pick up any incident ray striking the interface at some angle of incidence i what will be the fate of this ray as it progresses from medium 1 to 2 now it, it will bend away from the very good most of you said correctly since it is going from a denser medium towards a rarer medium it bends away from normal angle of refraction is greater than the angle of incidence that means as a crux this is a pick up for our new topic called total internal reflection and the crux here we have learned is whenever a ray of light is going from a rarer to a denser medium it is bending towards the normal on the contrary if a ray of light is going from denser to rarer medium it will bend away from the normal so now let's learn more about this using a simulation wherein we are going to actually see how 
the total internal reflection can be understood. So to see for the simulation part, I pick up the site of FET simulations. This is a beautiful site to understand the cause effect relationship between any two physical quantities. The topic of this simulation is bending of light, wherein various factors can be explored. I pick up the first one, which is the introduction part. What we see here, let me acquaint you with the things. Firstly, we have is an option, please check out my cursor. We have is an option to pick up whether the, we want light to propagate as a ray or wave because we already know it's having dual nature. This is my laser. The moment I turn it on, there will be a light which is moving or propagating further. I can close it or turn it on. This is a protector which I can pick up and put up to measure how much is the angle of incidence, refraction and various things. This is something called a photometer. What is the role of photometer? You will just see. It is a device and instrument which is used to measure the intensity of light. Furthermore, on the right side, what we see is we have is a choice of material, whether I want the ray of light to go from air to water or any other medium. We can even choose mystery mediums and then at the interface decide whether medium A, mystery medium A is having a greater density than B or vice versa, depending on how light ray propagates. Okay. So let's begin firstly understanding what we saw on the live board. Imagine this portion is air, this is water. I turn on light. The moment I turn it on, what do you witness people? Can be clearly seen by putting a protector. If you just put in a protector here, you can see and measure the angle of incidence. This is the angle of incidence. If you see my cursor carefully. This is the angle of refraction. Can anyone unmute and tell me what do you see as the relationship between angle of incidence and angle of refraction here? My angle of incidence is greater than angle of refraction. Very good. We clearly see that angle of refraction is lesser here. Why is it so? Because the ray of light is going from air to water that is a rarer medium to a denser medium means it is bending away from normal bending towards the normal now let's see the reverse imagine the first medium i choose is glass and the second medium i choose is supposedly the simplest maybe air maybe any any other medium right then in this case if i put up my protector and put it here for measurement of the angles this is referring to my angle of incidence and this is referring to my angle of refraction. Any pick out from this particular protector measurements? Anyone? Angle of incidence is less than angle of refraction. Perfect. Why is it so? Because in this case, light is going from glass to air, that is a denser medium, to a rarer medium. Right? Now, Look at some more cause-effect relationships explained beautifully in this simulation. Please look here what I am doing. You will have to tell me what I am doing. The very first thing, right now when the laser light is pointing here at the interface, we witness two rays. Can anyone unmute and tell me what ray is this referring to? Sorry, I can't hear you. Okay, somebody said reflected ray. And you must have noticed that this ray shown is a bit faint in comparison to this particular ray, which is quite dark, solid. And this particular ray is named as refracted ray. Means this is firstly a single picture is telling us that if a ray of light falls or strikes on any interface, a part of it certainly gets reflected although that part may be small, while the remainder moves or transmits itself to the other medium. Now see the beauty of this photometer. I pick up this photometer and put it on the reflected ray. 
it is measuring something anyone to read out how much is the intensity of reflected light be right beam you getting 6.53 6.53 and now i put the same photometer here on the refracted ray means which is passing over to the other medium how much is the intensity we are measuring 93.47 means what do we conclude while light ray is striking this interface which is not a polished surface most of the light is passing to the other medium while a very very small portion is reflecting back or bouncing back right now let's see some more changes some more effects let's look here carefully what am i doing what have i done anyone to unmute and tell me what have i done very good i have increased the angle of incidence correspondingly the angle of refraction has also increased if you want to really supplement it put your protector and measure for a given instance right now supposingly i take a rough estimate the angle of incidence is 30 correspondingly the angle of refraction i am getting is more than 30 i let the protector be here and i increase the angle of incidence further what do you observe i have increased the angle of incidence more than 30 what has happened to angle of refraction here yes people what has happened to the angle of refraction when i have increased the angle of incidence mayank rohila yes ma'am beta when i have increased the angle of incidence what has happened to angle of refraction ma'am it also changed it also increased okay mayank stay here see the change yes, further see the change further what has happened again i have increased the angle of incidence what has happened to angle of refraction ma'am bending away from the normal means it has further increased right so now look yes. here carefully all of you i go on increasing the angle of incidence and at a particular value of angle of incidence i am getting only one laser beam this particular one the other one may 